water is pouring down. Discharge caught on camera from the Washington Aqueduct into Little Falls Branch, which drains into the Potomac River, is illegal, according to the Potomac Riverkeeper Network. This has been a repeat pattern of releases, and it wasn't until we caught them that now they're owning up that there's even a problem. They've continuously denied any problems with this facility. And there's been no rain that would explain this degree of runoff. Riverkeeper Dean Nalyuk says eyewitnesses recorded several discharges first spotted in January. He says a criminal complaint has been filed with the Environmental Protection Agency. This is illegal under the Clean Water Act. They do not have a permit to discharge any wastewater from this outfall. The Army Corps of Engineers owns and operates the Washington Aqueduct. A spokeswoman responded to Bay Bulletin, bringing this news to Potomac Riverkeeper Network. She said in part, upon investigation, it was determined that the Dale Carlia water treatment plant suffered a loss of power to the main distribution panel, which resulted in failure of the main breaker feeding the pumping station. Staff successfully restored power to the facility, which is now fully functional once again. Now that they finally owned up to it after four months, what is the Washington Aqueduct and the Army Corps of Engineers discharging from this unpermitted outfall? Um, into Little Falls Branch and Potomac River. In a follow-up, the Army Corps of Engineers 6, tells us, PM. quote, it was found that chlorine was being discharged above permitted limits. No other pollutant was discharged. Lab testing confirmed no detectable chlorine downstream of the outfall once power was restored. And Maryland Environment Secretary Ben Grumbles says MDE will follow up to help ensure the facility takes appropriate action and seeing the potential impact on waterways that a power failure could have, Grumble says, quote, this is also a reminder that backup energy supplies are as important as ever to infrastructure resiliency and pollution prevention. It's got a brown look to For it. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello. And you can see the red.